Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be a DIY upcycling furniture kind of video because if you've been following along or if not you might know or might not that I've been kind of looking for furniture from my little dining area corner and there was a specific type of chair that I wanted, I had my eye on, but I just could not find any chair online for like less than $300 per chair. I needed like four of them. And I just really didn't wanna pay, you know, $1,200 for four chairs in a rental apartment. So I found a secondhand website, I trawled it, and I found a set of six chairs, which you can kind of see behind me, I'll show you properly. Basically six secondhand chairs, and I got the six of them for, I think it was $270 all together so obviously a much better price but they need a little bit of work I'm gonna reupholster the seat area the cushion part and I figured I would video it today and show you exactly how I'm doing it and hopefully it will inspire you maybe to try it in the future and save some money too so I'll flip the camera around and show you what you need what we're gonna do and then I'll show you the end result okay so here is a close look at the before these are the chairs and in fairness like I feel like they are quite old but they're in very very good condition but obviously if you know me this green just isn't gonna work it's not my style in fairness good condition like it's not marked or anything but I want to do more of like a white off-white seat to go with kind of the area that I have in mind so, so that is step number one and then possibly I might not in this video but I might paint this wood part black I'm gonna see like as you saw from the inspiration picture that was kind of the chair that I had in mind but I actually do quite like the wood as well so I'll think about that I wouldn't be touching this part obviously just this outside part and the legs but for today we'll just focus on the cushion part okay so what do you need so obviously first the fabric this is the fabric that we went for I got it in a store here in New York it's just very plain you can do like any kind of fabric that you want print different colors but this is the vibe that I'm going for because it kind of matches my couch and I ended up getting three yards each of the cushions is 20 by 20 and we have six of them so he told me that three yards should be plenty and that I probably will have some extra but I think that's good because in case anything ever spills or one of them gets ruined I'll be able to fix it up then you also are gonna need screwdrivers because you have to screw off the cushions and the chair this is how they work on this one anyway so they're screwed on so we'll be screwing them off obviously using the screwdriver and then lastly you need a staple gun to put the fabric on there might be other stuff that you need and you might be able to do this in a more fancy way but just for me I'm keeping it very simple very kind of quick and easy and this is all that I need to do that about to leave already packing come with me I'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see the world in action What we can be, life with no distractions We'll get away, this is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out started with the sides so my rule and kind of how I do it and I, I've seen this a lot online but I think it's easier to leave the corners to second so first get all your sides lined up like really really tightly and get the staples kind of as close to the edge as possible because that's really gonna like make sure that it stays straight at the front so we did the four sides and then you don't want to go too close to the corner so for example here I stopped the staple at about here because you want this excess i'll show you now how we're going to do the corners but basically you want this to be able to kind of open up because this is how you're going to get the corners to be really like fitted properly so just make sure to leave some space there and then that's kind of about it like you don't have to go too crazy with the staples you can do as many as you want but i think four or five is usually fine it like it's holding it really well and then by the time we put the corners in it should be fine so that's step one and now we'll do the corners okay so with the corners we'll be able to see but basically what my system is is i pull in the middle part first get that really really tight 
and like secure and then I staple that first. Then once that's stapled, I'll pull over this side as like a kind of a pleat and you really want to make sure that it like is straight at the side and then you pull over the other side and this will actually make it look really nice and neat. So I'll film doing it now and you can see. really nice and kind of fitted and tight and everything up here as well so that's the kind of good technique sorry the angle is really bad but hopefully you get the idea we don't know about to see the world in action what we can be life with no distractions we'll get away this is what we waited for Okay guys, to dawn and I am so happy. Still have four to go, but I figured before it gets dark, I'll show you the end results so you can see how they turned out. And I can put in a clip of the old ones as well, just to remind you, but really happy with them. Such like an inexpensive way of doing it. I found these secondhand, as I said, such good value, and then just reupholstered the cushion part. Nothing fancy, they're probably not perfect if you look at them closely underneath, but from the outset, very happy. So I really hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you found it helpful. Not rocket science by any means, but I actually didn't realize how easy it was to do until I kind of started looking at videos. So I figured I would make my own video and show any of you who maybe don't realize it as well because it is really quick and easy and much more like cost effective than buying like new chairs as i said at the beginning as well so if you have any questions let me know i'll link any other interiors or diy videos that i've done as well down below if you want to take a look at them be sure to subscribe i do lots and lots of interior videos and i'm going to be doing a proper dining area kind of look as well soon i have to just put my pictures up here and finalize the centerpiece but now that the chairs are in and i got this beautiful beautiful table that i can't wait to properly show as well so keep an eye out for that give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one bye <music> I'm worried for my fingers, I'm not doing this anymore. I don't even know how I did that. It's not coming off, but I can't even see a staple. It's there, I think. Okay, we'll worry about that later. <laughs>